Looking after isopods can be a bit of a daunting process, especially if it is a species you have never had before. In this video, I will be teaching you all about how to successfully care for the Baselio scaber, otherwise known as the rough slater beetle. Baselio scaber are not that fond of burrowing like other Baselio species such as Baselio levis and Baselio dilatatus. Because of this, their substrate can be as little as 4 cm deep. But, I suggest making their substrate quite a bit deeper for a reason that has nothing to do with the isopod's fondness for digging and has everything to do with their fondness of eating. Pacellio scaba has a big appetite. They are always eating and if they are not eating, they are <laughs> Due to their never diminishing appetite, you may quickly get a large build up of frass on top of the substrate. A large quantity of frass can be hazardous for two reasons. Number one, being ammonia. A large enough quantity of isopod poo will produce ammonia that could accidentally gas your whole colony to death. And reason two is being that isopod poo is quite hydrophobic, meaning it does not hold water well. Because of this, it could lead your substrate to dry out too thoroughly, which could also lead to a colony crash. For more information about colony crashes, check out this video, which will be in the description. But all of this can thankfully be avoided by providing deep substrate and turning the soil frequently whenever you notice a frass buildup. Pacellio scaper thrive well in subtropical environments, although they can tolerate drier conditions to an extent. Low to moderate ventilation is the preferred amount of airflow. Like all other terrestrial isopods, a moisture gradient is also recommended. This means that one end of the enclosure should remain moist, while the other end should remain relatively dry. Pacellio scaber are not picky eaters and will basically eat everything from apples, carrot and cucumber to little animals. Alive. Pacellio scaber are extremely protein aggressive. Because of this, they should not be used as cleanup crew for other invertebrates, small lizards and frogs. But their love for protein make them a great candidate for cleaning bones for you. If you're a bone collector like myself and you don't have a domestic beetle colony, you can always throw your bones into your Pacellio scaper colony and you should have bones free of flesh in no time. A good supply of leaf litter and wood should also be given to your Pacellio scaba colony since these two natural ingredients will make up the majority of their diet. A calcium source should always be available to ensure your isopods get enough calcium to successfully molt their exoskeletons. You can provide calcium by feeding cuttlefish and even eggshells. And that marks the end of this video. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content.